Hello and welcome everyone back to another part of us helping out the empty villain. We're going to be helping out Zorbeck in the last of his quest after we go ahead and equip our class for the day. Uh, which I think would be best sort of being the Necromancer, because I want to be a Necromancer. And then go ahead and equip everything. Hide the Champion of Light, because that thing is hideous. And now, off to Emptyville. And let's help the empty villain, shall we? It's time, Jaina. Time to take the babies and take over the town. <laughs> and the time has come to attack the heart of the town. Everyone is at the town meeting. So we'll strike there. Prepare yourself, my bony babies. On your mark, you get set. Attack! <coughs> Sorbeck, I think you're scaring them. Yeah. Fine, fine. Babies, let's go overwhelm the townspeople with your terrifying cuteness. Well, hello, people of Zorbeckville. You, you're the one behind all the recent chaos in the town. Jaina? What are you doing with this furry little, f uh, with a little furry fiend? You're supposed to be on our side. Well, uh, you see, it's not what it looks like. I have a really good reason to be helping Zorbeck. Honest. He's got this cute little baby seat. People of Emptyville, defend your town! Come 11 more villagers before going back to the meeting hall. So yeah. And I forgot to summon the dragon. Again. Yeah, we're up against the town militia, as it were. And I think we will start with a guaranteed crit. Oh yeah, we well, have manual pet actions turned on. Why do I have them turned on? Prob oh yeah. As you can see, these guys would be terrifying if their weapons had status effects. Luckily, they don't. And better yet, Fluffy can help us defeat them with terrifying cuteness. Um. Yes. Let us see. Uh. This one hel is really good when they are stunned because they can't attack me. So either it does 160% damage to themselves, or it does nothing. Uh, let's recover some mana, which is so intimidating. It forces the enemy to take damage more and more. And that's that. Now then, manual pet actions turned off. Ah. There's no time to explore the rest of the town. You need to defend the... Vi calm the villagers. A town defender. Uh, let's see. 
This one should be good. Oh right, the low health ones are uh, terrifying. Mostly because they deal a lot of damage. And I guess this will have to do. And that's doing good. And that was a Shadow Seed procking in order to deal more damage. Um, this was a 200% proc. Luckily these low health ones, if I remember that they are dangerous, are easy to deal with for only 18 mana. Unfortunately, I don't always remember things like that. Okay, now that you're immobilized by sleep, let me first heal up a bit. And that's that. Or well, regain a bit of mana. Huh. As you also might have noticed, uh, yeah, this turns, uh, this has randomized Outfits and hairstyles, mainly that one, that's the important one. And that does indeed affect just how uh, they look like when you fight them. Oh, with this we could actually uh, regain more man gain more mana than we would lose. As you saw, she was a cataraired, pink-haired girl. And now she's a ram-horned, red-haired girl. And fluffy mist. Luckily there was still a turn left. Oh. Three more villagers, eh? Not there, not there. Nothing there. Nothing in the graveyard where Arctic sings out. Ah! And Drew Wapney Smith is off defending the town from Zorbak. Also, yes, using Shadow Seed is always a is always an improvement in damage because it deals um let's see. Yeah, it deals two hundred percent damage and you take one turn wherein you don't attack. Or it deals three hundred percent damage, which is even better. Of course. And here, these are the last ones. Dream. And die. Well, pacify. Yeah, both work. I like it when there's suddenly an entirely different person opposing me. Now we can actually get to see what the attacks are from this particular uh, version of a town defender. 
only one time if everything goes according to plan. But still. Um Yeah, next turn. Yes. Conscious shards of ice that deal metal damage. Prepare thyself, Jaina. People of Amityville, see why I have been fighting? Do you really want to destroy Zorbeck's ar army when it's made up of such cute little babies? Are you that heartless? Oh, They're adorable. Look how cute they are. We can't fight those. Mommy, can I have one? Pretty please? Oh yes, my dear. I think we all want one. You all would adopt the babies? Also, this sword, I think, changes just a flash every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, yes, indeed. I want one. I'll take one home too. Give me one! What's going on over there? Zorbeck, look, a happy ending! Wait, wait, wait. What? What are you people doing with my army? It's mine! You will leave my terrifying babies alone right now or I will magic you so fast you won't know. Give it up, Sorbeck. Look at how happy the babies are. <laughs> it's my happiness that matters. Lieutenant <laughs> Nana. You have failed me! I have never and will never answer to Lifthan Nana. Go back to plotting, Zorbeck. Don't you have a dad to raise? Yeah, you just wait until my next plot comes to fruition. There'll be no place for you the next time I raise an army. Cheer up, Zorby old pal. Take a baby Draculicious pet. A real pet? I'm certainly going to. Mm. And we got a water ball, which we can use to sell, which is what I'm going to do. Um, all right, these are the merchant things. Oh, shop, and then uh, let us sell this because that's why these were made. What does corruption look like anyway? This one looks better. Uh, let us leave. We have how much gold? 13,204. And there's one more quest we can do when faced with this amount of opposition. We can defend the brood. Hello, Tina. Beautiful night out, isn't it? It's even nicer with the pungent aroma of nearby Dracolich eggs. How lovely. But, you know, I've seen that annoying little blue Maudlin skulking around lately. I bet he's after those eggs. How very rude of him. If he manages to get to the Dracolich eggs, he'll make off with them for sure. And the other baby Dracoliches are trying to protect the brood. Please, Jaina, help those wild baby Dracoliches protect those eggs. And this is one of uh, the most infuriating minigames in uh, this entire game. It is the strategy minigame. Because this is more random number manipulation than actual strategy. The first few are very easily done. Heal to battle, and we're facing off against Zorbeck, who is weak to light, of course. However, 
eventually the map just becomes an open space and you can't actually stop sore back then. Or at least I have never been able to. Luckily you get a heal for every fight, so you don't actually need to worry about doing this. And we will get our last level required for uh, the uh, Dragon Rider class. As you can see, the heal is quite uh, quite nice. Bad Sorbeck. Bad, bad Sorbeck. And the level up. Battle on. And now that we have this, we can go ahead and stop Zorak. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with uh, Uh-oh, I might have messed up. That will force him. And now we have him. Heal into battle. Stun, and then again the normal rotation of Shadow Seed, and I guess we can do some other things as well, such as Inspire Terror. Which deals quite a lot of fear damage, doesn't it? Such a lovely amount of fear damage. Hehe. <laughs> bad Sorbeck. Bad. Bad. Again, this one easy because choke points. The other ones are far more difficult. Well, eventually they become far more difficult. And sometimes you just need to wait an action, uh, waste a turn. Let's see how much damage he does to himself in his sleep this time around. Or nothing at all. And that was a fully propped. That was a fully propped shadow sheet. And now we need to do this one and quickly as well okay now that was just stupid so we're back And unfortunately, we have lost. As I said, they eventually become actually really difficult. And then there are these, which are just straight up unfair.
though sometimes you can find a way to exploit his uh, slight weaknesses in tactical analysis. Which is really nice, but very rare. As you might have also noticed, his health is going up. He is getting stronger each turn, which again, quite annoying each time we fight him, I mean. Inspire Terror. Uh -huh. And then one, uh, yeah, one last. Ta da! Okay, so that's all we'll do with helping out the empty villain. Now I will sell this one for last time. And then, let's help out the rest of Emptyville, shall we? I think that that would be very nice. We have done uh, the quest all the way to the side here. However, there's the haunted house. I grew up in the haunted house on the hill over the path, but I've been forced to leave. The spirits and monsters have taken over my home completely. I was forced to leave in such a rush that I left all my family's possessions behind. But all I really miss is my pendant. It is with some other family heirlooms in a chest in the basement closet. But we had to double lock the door. The most dangerous spirit in the house lives in the basement's closet. We had to keep the people out for their own safety. The two keys are uh, to the door are with the monster in the greenhouse and the monster under the bed. If you happen to find my pendant while adventuring, I would gladly you know, in there. I would gladly return you, reward you for returning it to me. So then, let's do this quest again. We have done this once before, but then it wasn't specifically to uh, help out a dear little Thursday. So. Uh, Let us help her out this time, shall we? First, we're clearing away towards the healing potions and the upstairs monster. Luckily, these enemies aren't that tough that they probably hit like a truck. Yeah, they hit like a truck. They aren't a tough though. And that's the main danger with them. With any enemies. Ooh, hidden potions. So yeah, we can now die and... Well, get knocked out and easily make it through here. Like I said, this is an easy fight. Easy quest as well. You away. Some of us are trying to sleep. You take a nap. All I want is your basement key. Do you know what happens to people who wake sleeping monsters? Um, they walk out of the room with the basement key and the monster goes peacefully back to sleep. Don't make me come out there. Don't make me come under there. I don't know why you would want to go into the basement closet. He is there. But you want the key so bad, tough guy. Come and get it. You live under a bed. How big can you possibly be? Quite big. Underbed is quite big. And he deals a lot of damage. Luckily, he isn't that much uh, more dangerous. 
a wild stunt. And we have access to healing potions, but he doesn't need to know that. Uh, let's see. Let's just... Aww. Let's weaken him a bit. Because uh, that really helps. And yeah, that was me using the guaranteed crit mechanic from the guaranteed crit attack to gain some extra damage. We found a bedroom key. Wrapped up in a sleet, you f in a sheet, you find one of the two keys to the basement closet. Yeah. Yep, that guy doesn't really have a good side. He's all bad sides. All the way through. Yeah, these red specters might do a lot of damage, but if they can't get a single attack off, their damage is kind of useless, which is the best kind of damage. Well, at least on uh, the enemy team. The key. I have a secret in the bad the key. I want to whisper it to you. Come closer. For a plant, you're really creepy, you know that? Yeah, I get that a lot, but then again, I hate everyone who says it. You're also you've also got a weird thing about eating people. There there's just no way you're going to give me the key, is there? Got in my belly Okay, here we go. Audrey too. Again, this one is more focused on health, so less focused on damage. The everlasting conundrum for these people. Plants? Whatever. If they wish to focus on damage, they will have to leave behind some of their health and the other way around. And I finally got it to proc again. And he deals more damage. Uh, yeah, always crit. Oh, well, that was lucky. Hidden under, hiding under a small bush, you find one of two basement keys to the basement closet. So yeah, what was lucky about that is the fact that uh, that those uh, that it triggered on uh, that uh, shadow sheet triggered. That's it. That shadow sheet triggered because apparently our crit would have been a rare one-hit crit, and it wouldn't have been a good crit either. Ooh, healing. Ah, another hero to join my happy family of ghosts. You've been collecting go the souls of fallen adventurers? Thursday set me up. No, the child knows nothing of this. She also knows nothing of your importance to the master. She doesn't need to even know her own importance or her family secrets. The master, so you're just another one of Spulcher's goons? Bah, Spulker is a, f a simple tool of the master. So are you, hero. 
Enough of this chatter. After I destroy you, all of your questions about the true master will be answered. Come, hero, join us. So yeah, he's doing that. He has the normal resistances and weaknesses. He just has a shit ton more health. Luckily, the longer he is alive, the more damage my aura does. Which means that I only get stronger and stronger. And that was Shadow, Sheet, Shadow Seed proccing for 300% damage. Uh, let us see about the danger he poses with the nightshade. See how much damage you do. See how little your attacks mean to me. That's it. He's dead. He defeated in the battle of Audrey 2 and the terrifying Nightshade and found Thursday's pendant. But what of Thursday's family's secret and the master about whom Nightshade spoke? Well then, we can, in shop, exchange this. Darkness, uh -huh. as you can see, these aren't great. So instead of giving it back, shop. Let's see if this actually is worth something. Huh. This is an asshole move, but we've already given her one of these, which is what you can see with our new, beautiful, actually, mental cape. That's it, cape. Uh, let's see, travel map. We are going to Sunbury's Grove because we are getting the last two skills for Dragon Rider. Shaman. Training, train. Uh, let's see. The correct way to do this is uh, this, then this, I believe. Almost. Almost. Let's see just how this works as a combo. Quite a bit better. So we shall go with that. AKA we're overloading them with light and light alone. And then we shall attack once more. Although this will leave us out of uh, mana for the last fight before the boss that is. So let's see if we can just smash our way through. Oh, yes, we can. Because apparently we weren't totally out of mana. 
And one last attack. And now, Darkzilla, you face me. Um, let's see, yes. A weakness that I will explore. Then Dragon Strike. A stun. A mana region. And then we shall go ahead and Burn is the enemy. And my last attack will be a... Hmm. It will be a arcane rune attack. An egg attack, as it were. Then dismiss, summon, dragon training, go ahead. We have Frenzy, two hits at full power, requires health below 35%. It isn't actually that expensive, so, you know, it is a nice amount of damage. Oh, wrong attack there. And then, well, once we are done with this, um, a slight upgrade to our potions will be in order. And then we shall go ahead and take on the other story I wanted to take on today. That is the Dragon Lord story. Because that got referenced in. Uh, in the conversations a few times with Galanath. However, we didn't yet have the context for it. And I didn't know exactly when it was supposed to actually happen in the timeline, because unfortunately it's not in the actual timeline. Yeah, let's just smash it to bits. Regenerate. We shall use our final strike. Our frenzy strike. Looks cool, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. This basic combo will be enough. damage the enemy quite severely, specifically in this case, 
in order to end it all. And now, we are done. Congratulations, we have unlocked the last skill. Dismiss, back, back. Saga, timeline. No, actually, uh, Dragon Lord. We are going Dragon Lord. Equip. We must upgrade our armor for these, but we can use these. This simple version. Upgrade. You require a lot of money for that, that we don't have yet. So. Um, let's see, let us go to the travel map, because uh, that is where we need to go, we need to go, actually no, we need to go to uh, this area first, we need to upgrade our potions, because while we just got done upgrading them, all the way to our current level. That current level was at the time level 22. So, train alchemy, get reagents, Riva, Horme, Turquine, and Varys. Well. Oh my god, barbecue. Dragon Heart. Yeah, that's overkill, but it's the fun kind of overkill. Uh, let's see. Double strike, triple strike, normal strike. And yes, even a miss in this case clangs off the side of your shield. This class can ball out of control so fast once you have the actual uh, required uh, not weaponry uh, once you have the actual required uh, pa uh, powers uh, the trinket whoops sorry about that that was an accident That's the Turquine. And now the Varish. Over there. Um, let us actually summon as a pet. Ah, uh, Energy Dragon Strike. Oh, and of course this one actually has a cooldown on it. Luckily the other one was weakened quite enough. That is the Farish. Now we only need uh, the... Uh, what's this name? The... Horme. Yes. Uh, 
like an English very well. I like that. Uh, stun. Meditate. Or, well, Water Dragon Spirit in this case. And it is as though I hadn't even fought. That will be that for uh, this potion. So then train, take test. Get. I forgot to grab the bright stone. Of course I did. Generate your mana. And everything is just fine. I like having that one charged up. So that when I actually do need it, I can just destroy the opponent. And that's that. Now just regenerate and hope that Fluffy does do something stupid. Luckily, Fluffy does not. Now let's just hope that I actually read that I have everything. Yes, I actually have everything. Train alchemy, take test. B4 symbol. Because you can also get that one as a shortened version, which is half the length. Uh, that one as a shortened version oh, would end up once you had completed the top half. And that's that, now that we are done with those, let me destroy this one, because we don't need it, and train the, okay, jagged cherry, sweet palm, doom dirt. Hey, Ferric, how are you? We're just catching up because I just leveled up, so you then need to get one more for uh, everything. One more level in potions. We've just finished up. Uh, getting the final level in uh, in Dragon Rider, so now that one has all its skills unlocked. Slightly frustrated from drawing 20 or so times on a boss fight in Bloodborne, but other than that, good. Yeah, that sounds like the typical Bloodborne experience, yeah.
Clinton for punishment. I mean, to even think about playing the games, you need to at least have something of that. Ah, yeah. I mean, you still need to grasp the mechanics with the first bosses, so that's an excuse you can use. Also, unfortunately, it did not get stunned. Uh, let us see then. This one, this one. And then let Fluffy take care of it. Heal. Yeah, but I did beat Dark Souls. Well, that's also a thing, like in Dark Souls, uh, blocking is more important. Or at least, theoret it's more important than it is in uh, 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 Bloodborne. Bloodborne, you need to get your parries right. And it is all about the parries. But I don't think this was one at any this father, especially when it transforms. Yeah, it's very much a skill check. Um, he is designed to be really hard to beat if you try to take him on like a Dark Souls boss instead of trying to take him on like a Bloodborne boss. And then I shall heal. Well, a fluffy shell cam. So those are the cherry cherries. Just a bit of healing and then the sweet palm, yes. Not the sour palm, sweet palm. Uh, not feeling like fighting this one. So I'm going dragon heart all in. And then, no, right there, uh, stop. And dragon heart. Let us see just how much this healing will do. We now have the final test. Ready, start test. For today at least. Finished. Complete. Okay. 225 HP. Now we are going to take on the final part of uh, the story time that I wanted to take on. Ah, we're here in Dragon's Grasp. Ah, uh, hello, Trina. I, I'm happy to see you. Welcome to Dragon's Grasp. Okay, the constant swaying of the city. Arshik, oh, I shall try to visit Oaklore soon. <laughs> yeah. What can I do? The weapon shop and the inn are in the interior of the city. If you are seeking, uh, if you are seeking more training, then you can find it in the armory. If you venture into the depths of the city, you may even find Chaniru visiting his prisoner. Dragon Grasp. Dragon Grasp is the stronghold of the Dragon Lord Order. To keep it secure, only those who have become one of the Order and bonded with their dragon may enter. 
You see, Dragon Grasp is also a prison. In the very depths of the city, a special enchanted cell holds one of the Order's greatest foes. As the prisoner was also one of the greatest dragon lords, the only dragon lord in fact to bond with one of the great dragons. Fillmore turned against the Order though, and now we keep one of our own locked away. Ah, uh, let's see, I think that was all of it. Ah, we can do a bombing run. I've done this before. As you walk past, you hear the name of Filmer, then Sepulchre. This can let you reach Falcon Reach. This is nice. A deployment area with a magical barrier that prevents us from actually just falling on. Ooh, a weapon shop. This might seem a lot, but uh, <laughs> if you're that high level, you don't worry about those times. Uh, that amount of money. So, let's see. Caros Salari. The ru this ruby dagger was earned by a na mage named Caros. He said it brought him luck. Maybe it will bring you luck too. I don't think we need that one. And a lower level version of Dragon Crest. So, what does the DC ha the shop have then? Ah, the Fierce Dragon Lord Helm. Which, quite deadly, I guess. Ah, the other side. No, let us leave. The fountain is beautiful. It makes you wonder if Dragon Grass has public outhouses. Unfortunately. Ah, a house shop. So you can actually buy a house here and then get the items to decorate it. These all look like this. And yes, these are just mirrored ones. And outdoor ones for placing them outdoors. And there is the uh, quite expanded DC shop. And you can buy a castle there. So, we can't quite do anything here. So let us see exactly what has happened. The latest thing now is security. In I can the entrance to the chill. I am the warden Chanero. What business do you have down here, Dragon Lord? What can we do? For now, nothing. Be watchful though, Jane. If Filmer uh, were to escape, it could mean the destruction of the Dragonlord Order. So. Ah. A quest. If you already count the shadows as your friend, uh, then I can show you how to home your skills further. So, we will be a Dragon Rogue, which is a slightly better base version of the Rogue. Slightly though, not too much. Welcome to the Dragon Grasp Armor. And as you can see, you need that one. <laughs> this is so cool, I can't believe I get to talk to the famous machine. Let's first uh, equip our weaponry. Equip and hide our helmet, and then uh, training exhibition or revolt. Let's see. Your exploits on the battlefield are well known, Gina. Many of the expiring dragon lords here wish to follow in your footsteps. 
Would you be willing to display your fighting prowess to them? Jonath can create illusions of your past conquests for you to fight. Let us fight them. The recruits eagerly await your demonstration, Jaina. I can create several illusions of several monsters from the past that you have defeated. Though not all will be perfect, this should be close. There's even a very small chance that through the uh, power of the illusion, a reforged version of the past prize comes into being. Well then, heal. We can uh, take these on. Few of these we haven't seen yet, but let's take on that wood, which we also haven't seen yet. But I just thought it would be fun. So, as you can see, this is basically the same, but with better stats all around, actually. That would destroy it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dragon Soul Toxin. Oh, that attacks MP. Which isn't useless unless you're in PvP, but. It's still nice. And. Let us see what we can do by blinding this little fool. Ooh, we get an extra attack off. Guards cheers as you defeat the illusion of your past uh, nemesis. Will you fight another? We can get time in a bottle. Which sounds mostly like a weapon that we will sell, uh, a chunk item that we will sell. Yes, we will. Now then, there is the revolt. Some of the other prisoners are acting up. Can you go down into the prison itself and stop the rioters? This place feels strange. There are only three doors here, but two of them lead back in time. Straight to the room you are standing in now. I told you it was weird. One room leads to your objective. How wisely can you choose? There's literally just RNG. And that's all there is to this one. And then one last attack. Let me actually summon Fluffy as well. You entered room number two. Um, yeah. So yeah, straight up RNG. I don't like these types of quests, but I think you need to beat this one at least once in order to take on the quest line for this area.
And then, yeah, I'm just leaving. I should walk past you over here. Something about the weather? The cold front is moving through. Just where do you think you're going? This is a prison, not a museum. While well, you're wondering about some of us have work to do. I suppose you've met our Vilmar. Our prisoner. Vilmar. <laughs> Any dragon lord that would harm their dragon. And Doyle just sits in the inn, daydreaming. With him in charge of the case, we may never know the full extent of Vilmar's villainy. So then, we know where we have to go now. Let's go to the inn, shall we? There's the... Uh, innkeep. When you have eliminated the impossible, you will find the truth in what remains. I shall call upon you soon, Jaina. I fear there is much more to this case than many of my counterparts would like to believe. Hey, boy, if your wife's presence came in. Oh, that's good to hear, Varric. Chiniru and Lestrade have requested a meeting. Shall we go find them, Jaina? Report, soldier. Soldier, report, I say. Not to self, redesign Badoosh to cleaning the dragon stables. Badoosh, wake up! Jaina, welcome. Hello, Captain. Hello, Captain. Des Did you feel that? What? The elemental plane of ice. The dragon is dying. The plane of frost is crying out. What What was that? Vilmore. Jaina. To the chill. Now. It cannot be. What was that? No. Vilmar must not escape. All the dragons are flight. We have to get them to stabilize the city first. I'll go after Vilmar. Fluffy. Summon dragon. Let's go. Let's see how high a score we can get, shall we? This minigame is the more tolerable version of the uh, Sailing minigame, which is the more tolerable version of the horse riding minigame, which is absolutely and utterly horrible and interferes with the main storyline far too much, unfortunately. I abhor that minigame.
and victory. Capture Fillmore. Oh no! Ah! Sometime later. <laughs> where, where am I? Fillmore? Gina, Gina, wake up! Oh, my head. Fillmore's gone. Doyle, you fool. Your whole job was to investigate that villain. How could you not know that Fillmore was capable of such power? Jaina nearly lost her head. But she is still very much alive. Through sheer luck. I don't think it was luck. But why now? Where could Fillmore be going? To find the dragon. Is it, is it starting to snow? I am quickly losing my patience. The dragon still resists. As long as Filmer still lives, they share a bond. Break it. Consider it done. So yeah, there's something going on around here. Uh... Let me just go ahead and uh, re-equip the uh, weaponry I require. The uh, class. Save and equip. So now, next time I spawn in, I should be able to have uh, this one equipped already. look good on some guardians but does not look good there the explosion from filmer esca escape broke the bars the dragon lords look worried the Genero surveys the damage the no mage damage uh, uh, recording <laughs> record the damage and uh, that eye in particular looks very tired to see exactly what is going on around here because there's something more going on right ah china recovered from your run-in with vilmar chineru is having issues getting the prison back under control a lone guard is also trapped inside he has requested that you go in and deal with the prisoner and try to find raggy the prisoners will have started ransacking the wilmer's cell make sure to check your temporary inventory as you go you should be able to recover some clues. Oh, and Jaina, oh, watch out for jingles. So, low health, lots of damage. Let's stun and then attack. And, uh, Let's summon a dragon, shall we? Okay. Let's see, minimum amount of uh, fighting for maximum amount of enjoyment of the area. And of course, Fluffy wouldn't help. Let's see if this will work. Yes, it will. A renegade ambusher. That is a uh, well. Ooh, we got an ice string skill and a hand mirror, a chunk of super frozen ice polished to a sheen. You can see your reflection in it. 
Jingles. Jingle bell, jingle bell. And that was jingles. Let's see. A faded drawing. A torn and faded drawing of a giant dragon surrounded by posing dragon lords. A small figure with long dark hair stands proudly in front of it. <coughs> Psst. Hey, you! Let me go and I'll tell you what happened. Ah, oh, come on, I know you're thinking about it. Come on, nobody will know. Yeah, let's not. Let's just take out this desert thug. Then let's see. A hairbrush. A hairbrush with a large V engraved on the back. There's still a few strands of black hair. Still in bristles. Bristles. Another ambusher. Another prisoner recaptured. Even when I don't have my mana. Oops, didn't see you there. Let me see just how quickly I can reduce you to nothing. Three turns, not bad. A broken bar and magic powder. Huh. Oh, damn it. Well then, let's see, can I out DPS three normal people? I think I can, but I don't know for sure. Maybe not, apparently. And that's that. Knocked out. Luckily, I can heal a bit. Do this. That actually takes him out. Um, yeah, minus two hit. And now just attack, attack, attack. Center, the explosion it ripped through the whole prison. Luckily, the other guards were able to escape. Someone had to stay behind to make sure that all the outer doors remain secure. I've been hiding in here since. Thank you, Trina. Thank you for coming for me. Let's just check. No more. Okay. 
We complete the quest. You rescue a draggy and manage to find some interesting clues about Fillmore too. And we got a detective's cap. Which sounds really nice to use to sell. Because I am not waiting that long for a cap. Doesn't even look that good either. Ruins of Basque. The alchemical powder you found in the prison is a very potent mixture, one that is very hard to produce. It is made from the skills of Cryotan, the great ice dragon. Filmer's supply is therefore thankfully limited. I think the situation is finally under control here. It's time to start the hunt for Vilmer. Head to Basque, Jaina. It was the last place Kryzen was seen, and where Vilmer will likely begin to search as well. Be very careful, Jaina. The village has been in ruins for years. Who knows what dangers may lurk there now. All I see in such thing. I do think that this armor could do with a redesign. Still falls under the uh, rather boring uh, pure sex appeal design philosophy. Instead of the more interesting one. I should use an eye, a fire weapon. Unfortunately, I don't have access to one. But Fluffy. Fluffy can also count as one of those, yes. So, let's use Fluffy as one of those. Elementalize fire. Ooh, a blood wolf. Which is the only... Uh, enemy in this entire area that isn't weak to fire. Uh, let us hope that that is a potion box and not some other kind of box, though 30 isn't that bad. Ooh, open chest. Ah. There are not many of us as only if only the walls weren't crumbling. It doesn't seem that there'll be anything worth anything among this garbage. Where am I supposed to go exactly? Fire now.
Oh. Apparently my sound has been removed. And luckily it's been turned back on again with that. Ooh, this will be a difficult fight without being hit. So we won't do it without being hit. Oh, well, we needed to heal anyway. Um, uh, let's see. Whoa, looks like I can jump down. Let's do that. Looks a little lonely. There doesn't seem to be anyone else around either. Oh, Poor cutie. Let's just destroy this one first. Then heal at the healing pad. And then we can... Uh, go back and take a look at the other chest. And let's hope it's not another trap chest. That would be both boring and annoying. Okay, apparently certain parts of the uh, soundtrack do not vibe actual using sound. area easy gloom tell oh seems we don't get many visitors up here in the mountains no sudden moon of movement stranger now what are you doing in my home do you know a filmer I believe that he the villain is behind this I have not heard that name before. As I said, I was not here when the event occurred. Mm. Uh, was it you who set all the traps? If I never opened treasure chest up again, it would be too soon. Traps? No, I've not run into any. I've been here quite a while. If anyone had been snooping around, Gloomtail would know about it. Growl. Nice doggy. Woof! Please don't do that. Okay, let us leave. Kind stranger helpfully informed us that. No, there shouldn't be there. The, the Guardian Tower, it's a ruins! Doyle wasn't kidding. What could do this much damage? Help! Help me! I'm coming! Where are you? Oh, over here! The wall fell! I'm trapped! Please, help me. I'll get you out. You managed to dig her out from beneath the rubble. Thank you so much, hero. I don't know what would have happened if you didn't, hadn't come along. I'm sick. What are you doing here, sick? Basques is in ruins. It's a very dangerous place. Looks as though the traps uh, have been laid as well. Film rooms deflates, but why? Did, did, did you say film? You know a filmer? Let that monster destroy Basque, destroy my home! 
realized it was Filmer that laid those traps because of that power hungry dragon lord. All my friends and family is are gone. Hero, if you are after Filmer, let me come with you. Let me help you capture Filmer. Filmer is incredibly dangerous. I know the danger, I'm not afraid. I, only, I want to see justice served for Filmer. The next set of eyes would be helpful with the amount of traps laid. Right, Sega. You can, for now, you can stay. Thank you, Hero. Your kindness will not go unrewarded. But you have a new friend to help you search, right? We got a belt. Oh, that's nice, actually. Let's see. Is it better or worse? Uh, better. So we can sell this one now. Unfortunately, it's worth nothing. Quest the tower. Search the remains of the Basque Tower, Jane, for clues as to why Vilmer attacked. A thorough search of the tower was never done due to how unstable the remains of it were. The tower has hopefully settled some in the intervening years, but be very careful. If the rubble collapses, your passage could be blocked. Choose your path carefully to gather as much evidence as you can. The tower is in ruins here. What exactly do you expect to find? A reason. Why would Vomer choose this town? Why destroy the uh, tower and betray the great ice dragon's thrust? The towers were places of the guardians, placed to protect the orbs. Obviously. Filmer foolishly thought to steal the orb that contained within, not knowing that it had been stolen years before. Who would have the knowledge and skill to steal the orb, though? Where could they have taken it? Someone very talented, I would think. Now we know how Aisha came into possession of the orb. No one even suspected the orb had been taken north. Well, the ice orb could have been a powerful motivator for a filmer's attack here. The ruins look to be mostly undisturbed. Except for something. Uh, it all looks very unstable and there's definite possibility that more traps have been laid inside. Lead on then, hero. Let us fight then. A clue. Hmm. No going back now. Ay 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 ay. That is annoying. Another clue. That is good to find at least. You found a clue. Clue. All of Basque. Destroy. Let's just destroy these so that uh, we can actually look at all the clues that we find. We can go in here or we can go up here. This will lead. Huh. Oh, an ice trencher.
Luckily, these partially see-through copies aren't as dangerous as the ones that actually poison you. He found a clue. All of Basque's works to corrupt the orb. Huh. Someone works to corrupt the orb. DF Ooh. A few scraps of an old note and the remains of a strange amulet. What could they mean? We got the amateur detective cape. Oh. There. One of my posters went down. Um let's look at what stats it provides. One bonus, one endurance, and two darkness. This one and this three bonus, three endurance, two endurance, three eyes. Then let us sell. Thursday's gift. Free fall. Let me just heal. Free fall. There has been heavy snowfall the past few days. Be careful, Chena. Scraps of paper and an old medal. How will any of this help take Filmer down? It will help to figure out what Filmer was and might be thinking. What does that matter? The monster destroyed the entire town and should have been dealt with long before this. Don't you want to know why, though? These scraps of paper. Filmer has written on one, initials on the other, on another. Maybe Filmer had a partner or something worse. What could be worse? The amulet could be. Could. Sir, there may be another evil at work here. We're going to have to be very careful. Hmm. Yes, definitely. What was this? Avalanche! Hurry, Jaina! Run! Let's see how far I make it. Ooh, I can track her off screen. Yeah, that doesn't work to prevent damage. Unfortunately, though, it seems the study avalanche is overtaking me. No. Why am I tied up? You continue to meddle with things that do not concern you, Dragon Lord. Blowing out the bottom of a fly the floating city, decimating an entire town. As a hero type, those kind of things do kind of concern me. A hero? <laughs> Heroism is fleeting, conceit. One day you're a hero, and the next day you're already hunted. Knocking over a tower does tend to result in that, yes. You are nothing but a petty distraction, hero. Do not force my hand against you. I have my own quest to finish first. 
quest, I must find Cryosin and Donovan. It looks like we're going to be tied up for a while. And we got a broken table. Let's see how much we can sell this piece of junk for. 10 gold. Apparently it can stack. Quests. Donovan. Find out what you can in Even the smallest detail can have tremendous implications for this case. For Vilmer. Wait. Donovan? Who's Donovan? I told you. It does not concern you. I've traced you through falling rubble. Fought prisoners that loaded the remains of your cell. Um, let me just hide this one. Duck through the ruins of a town in order to find clues about you and have been buried alive by an avalanche that inexplicably started as soon as I mentioned that someone besides you might be responsible for Bosk. The only one responsible for Bosk's destruction is me. I will never be able to fully atone for it. See, that's just it. Bad guys don't atone for anything. Bad guys don't sit in a prison spell when they could explode the bottom out of the city at any time with crazy power dish made from dragon scales. Bad guys don't tell the hero that stuff doesn't concern them. Bad guys are actually pretty chatty. My ability to chat doesn't diminish the evil which I am capable of. We're all capable of evil. <laughs> Donovan was a friend. An orphan adopted by the senior dragon lords. He, he did not fit in, just as I did not. Well, the others were scared of him because he was different. They were scared of me because of the power that I so easily wielded. In the end, we only had to... Uh, the other to keep each other company. <laughs> Partners in crime. Lil Vilmer, Lil Donovan. Fighting against stinky underbed meanies, dumb spiders, and everything. Dumb spider. Undead bone hit. Former friends. The worst enemies. So there really is something more going on around here. Let us see exactly what this make-believe made them believe. And exactly what happened to cause such dissension between former friends. Five attacks, 2095. Human, young Vilmer. Human, wannabe beast master. Let's see, what does he do? 85 to 125. Quite a bit more damage. Mean fire dragon. A mean fire dragon went down easy. With that, even the last dumb spider was defeated. Easily. Easily by our young heroes. Let's see exactly where they ended up, shall we? Also, good amount of experience actually. A 
an undead bonehead stood no chance against young Vilmer. Armed and armored as she was. Healing point. Oh, that's annoying. Luckily, we don't need the filling for the uh, healing in this case, but uh, yeah, that can be annoying. How many hits does Donovan do even? Because if he does 6 hits, then he could conceivably hit in the 1000, I think. 125 times 6, 600 plus 175. If they are all crits, that will be times uh, 1.6. Yeah times 1.5 or so yeah over 6 and that would be 775 yeah times 1.5 that would end up in more than a thousand that's impressive stinky under bed meaning Jonathan helped me train, helped me realize my true potential. Well, let's train to be great, Dragon Lords! Yeah! Even though Donovan could never be a Dragon Lord because of his mysterious background, he was one in my eyes. As the years were on, I thought our friendship, our bond, through being different, would win out over adversity. I failed though. Failed? Donovan warned me, tried to warn me about the Basque and the danger the ice was in. By the time I arrived though, the corruption must have spread throughout the whole town. Gryzen sensed the danger and did not want to attack. I pushed forward though, to our, to our own doom. As we approached the tower, we were attacked. I could not react in time. Kryzen. Kryzen was in this injured as we crashed into the Basque Tower. Little remained of it. I broke my bond of trust with my turn. I failed to take heed of Donovan's warning. And now, now Kryzen is dying. Vilmer, you don't understand. Donovan? Yes, the note couldn't be a dragon lord. No, no. It's frostite. He. Sharing time is over. Ew. Whatever shall be done here. We got a new helmet. Maybe this one actually looks good, for once. Decent, actually. Though, maybe not quite as good with uh, my colors of the outfit. Let's just leave them and re-equip. The uh, Dragon Rogue armor. Equip Dragon Rogue. Uh, 
Let's see. Crit, endurance, index strength, bonus, darkness, bonus, strength accent, charisma, less crit, less insurance, but more in almost every other step, or equal at least. And, you know, having charisma is always nice. Why can't I click on that? Quest. The chase. Do not let your guard down. If, as I suspect, there is more to Vilmer's story than we know, if that increases the danger. If Vilmer is truly evil, then your danger is seen. But I fear that unseen enemies are abound. What's wrong, old friend? Cryogen, there's not much time left. We have to help. Trina has been gone for far too long. While we wait, Vilmar gathers power. I will not wait any longer. Trina, Trina has been gone too long. Sharing time is over. Oh, great. Time for another avalanche. <laughs> Who would have thought that you could run an entire mountain uh, mountainside? I do not have time for these games. Where did you get that explosive? <laughs> uh, this? It's made specially from dragon scales. How did you get Kryzen's skills? The poor thing shuts them awfully fast when you put the fire near it. No! Yeesh. Huh? Oh my god, please stop doing aim a little off. I so wish you could equip the armor. You're mine. You have to catch me first. I so wish that we could equip that armor. Um, let's see. Days. Why can't I summon Fluffy? What have you done with Kryzen? <laughs> yeah... Vilmer definitely isn't the bad guy in this instance. But I think that was clear for quite a while already. Then after this fight is over, I think we will have enough. Um, I mean, this quest is over. I think we will have enough experience to uh, ignore 
the rest of this. Uh, or well, no. What I meant is, uh, then it will be time to stop. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, let me just heal up quickly. E T. Ah. You're going to be need to be a lot quicker than that, Dragon Lord. And yes, more of this fight. If I don't miss that one, is actually uh, close to the. Filmer, wait! No! Oh no, Kryzen. See, I. Circa. This is not what I asked for. So then, I guess. We can fit in the last quest. A trail. Filmer's fate is in your hands, Shana. Do what you have to uncover the truth. Do what you have to find and save Kryzen. I know you can do it, Shana. Find the truth and solve this mystery. Sirka, this is not what I asked for. I had to improvise. I do not pay for improvisation. I got you Vilmore. I didn't ask for Vilmore. I told you to break the bond between Vilmore and Kryzen. Now I have to take care of it myself, you fool. I don't work for free, Dragon Master. And I don't pay for mistakes. Hold your Tongue mercenary, and we still have a chance to earn your keep. While you've been failing in your sh mission, I have succeeded in mine. Dryson is almost broken, and I have absorbed much of the dragon's power. The great dragon is almost mine. The power you wielded so easily is almost mine. I will not be denied what I have earned. You were my friend. You were everything I should have been. Frostside. Why? Why would you throw everything away? A friendship, a place in Dragon Cross. Why? Throw away everything? They gave me nothing. No one trusted me. No dragon would bond with me because I was half elf. They should have lauded me, revered me. I am already in tune with a plane of frost due to my eyes, elf lineage. Instead, they mocked me, refused me a dragon amulet. So if now dragon would bond with me to help me become a dragon lord, then I become one's master to bend the dragon's will to my own and steal an amulet. Even then, you, Jaina, foiled my plans. No more. Klysoros and his brethren were weak. Now I have a chrysan. Don't you see it? It's not because you're an elf. It's you. You would rather enslave a dragon than even try to bond. Look at what you're doing. Kryzen is dying. You're killing him. <laughs> <laughs> you lived long enough to dispatch you, and I'm sure Kryzen's heir will be just as powerful. 
I have been waiting for this for a long time, China. You fighter. And I still cannot change my uh, um, character list. Yes. Dragon Rogue, play. Close. Elementalized to fire, yes. Okay, that's good. And now then. Travel map. I will take on this last battle. And since I don't need to equip anything for it. Also, yes, what a twist that no one ever saw coming. Uh, let's go ahead and hurry this up so that I can actually fight. Let's see just how weak cryism like this actually is. Yes, getting some boosts. And now then, let's see what does Mega Burn do. Well, it costs twice the amount of uh, mana, and you attack twice in a single turn. Oh, what a surprise! Oh, what a surprise! Let's see if we can stun him. Yeah, we got the stun off. Let's see. Still affected by a burn, I see. Let's reach and some mana. And then let us do a normal attack actually. Because then we can do this cycle one more time. And let's end. Titan Frost Scythe. Maybe he'll become dangerous and actually deal enough damage so that we can use Frenzy, which will be enough to end Titan Frost Scythe. And that's the last of Titan Frost Scythe. Equip your weapons, Shana. We're finishing this now. Just you and me. Then let's do that. Shall we? Phantom 
me. Circa. What? Time to hang it to keep. Help me with this force. Oh, that would require some improvisation. And you don't pay for that. <laughs> I don't need her help. I've absorbed the last of Kryzen's power. And now it's my turn to wield the full power of Frost. Elementalize. Fire, yes. Summon. Pat. Heal. Summon Filmer. Heal and potions. Let's fight, shall we? We have two ice dragons. Okay, um, hit all enemies, shall we? And as you can see, their ice uh, weakness has been done away, uh, strength has been done away with. Because if it hadn't been, Vilmar would have been useless, or worse than even. Uh, let us see then. These boss fights are always nice though. Now that dealt some damage. Uh. Um, yeah, let's just do a normal attack. And then in a few. We will have the big boom again. Ooh, we got him stunned. Ready then? He has shit and mobility resist too, and he's a boss. That's weird. Big bow. No. No! I will not be defeated again! I think you're done. Good job, Shana. You've managed to capture the uh, filmer and this half elf trader. No. Estrad, look out! Filmer! Thank you, friend. Vimmer, you... Estrada, she saved us all from that explosion. But, but... There's much for Shana and Vimmer uh, to need to share... That There's much that Shana and Vimmer need to share with us about what happened in Basque and in the cave. Though, now is not the time. Goodbye, Kryzen. Vimmer, the egg! Ryzen Jr.
Ah, <laughs> Good thing he wasn't pointed this way. <laughs> so cute. I have much to do to earn your trust uh, and my trust in myself back. I hope to earn that back in time. But I fight under the banner of the Dragon Lord. After everything, we should throw you back in jail. You think any jail can hold me if I wish to be free? You only know half the story, Lestrade. What happened with Frostside, Filmer? Jaina? What happened to Bask? Donovan, he escaped to the back of the cave. I don't know if he made it out. He was behind what happened at Bask, though. Please, tell us what happened. And so, we've saved an instant person's life. Isn't that just all we needed to do? Let's see what the helmet looks like. Ooh, that's a lot of stats. Are they better though? Um, I don't think so. I think it is an inferior version. That's... That's annoying. Because I like that one better. So, let's sell those last two uh, things. And then... I will... See you all. Mm. Or, well, actually, no, I'm going to check if there's someone I can raid. No, um, then I will see you all next time. Goodbye.